guys. This is Marcus Silvera taking over for Richie just briefly. The man had to uh, get some sustenance in his body, eat a little bit of food, but I'm gonna kind of kick you off as best as I can. Uh, I do play Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm not as into it right now as I used to be, so I'm gonna do my best here. I'm probably gonna have somebody jump on with me who has a bit more knowledge who can help out. But we got Tyler versus Jeremy, Sky Striker versus Pendulum. Where is it? Um, welcome into round, I think this, is this round six, I believe? I didn't change the round count. That is my mistake. I believe this is round six. Yeah, this is round six, right? Yes. We are in round six. F7. Let me get out of studio mode here. All right, here we go. And then let me restart. Time. Remember, Time is going to be a little off, about, about a minute. No, no, nothing. I just make sure everything's set up, set up properly. Turn off the laptop on it. I need somebody with knowledge over here. I'm right here. All right. Well then, so you let, let's talk. I mean, Sky Strikers. You know how Sky Strikers operate. Yeah. Uh, what's the current like Pendulum deck with them like? Uh, last time I, I was in it is when like if they had all of its pieces still. If it's you know? Jeremy, he's still playing with the negates. I, I don't know if he knows he's playing against Sky Striker. Right. But there's really not like. An XYZ that stops Sky Strikers. Right. You know I mean, well, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't know what his actual um, rank four uh, D is. He might just stop with time mission, but. Um, but it still does like, the Electromite and all that stuff. The one like Electromite, Interesting. and it still okay. does the Indigates. It looks like he still plays the Wisdom Eye. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm seeing that Wisdom Eye. I'm seeing the. Um, He's mating Droll Lock, which is fun. Right. Right. Yeah, I did see that the Sky Striker has Yeah, Someone mentioned that if uh, Strikers don't have a hand trap, it might be GG, but he does have Ash in hand. He has I don't know double he... Wisdom Eye. That's not good for him. Yeah, no, that, that is definitely a, a bad opener. And then Wisdom is going to add the Wisdom. Yep. So he could get that fourth. Uh, he probably already has the, um, the tuner already in hand, most likely, if he didn't uh, send it to it's extra the, deck. The, the White Magician? No, the other one. The one, it summons a, mon um, a magician from deck to deck. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gives you another, another piece. Like he probably sent it to the extra deck, but he didn't have it already. They just can't decide on what to use his skill center. Right. But we know his uh, current um, extra deck face up right now is the uh, worm. Okay, he had it in hand already. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's what I was referring to. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah, but there's actual uh, another tuner in white that's called white magician. So got gotcha. you. You can't. He's going to probably summon a 7 from deck because he has a level 7 worm. And right. he's going to ash that right there. Uh, Tyler is. So he's stuck on making the rank 4, most likely a time magician. To add a magician. Uh, interesting. I wonder if he decided not to go for the rank 4 or... Oh, maybe going for a link instead. Probably looked through the extra deck and saw that he had a, a different target. I'm not familiar. Do you know what that card is? I'm not familiar with this. Zephyr Met uh, Metaphon is fun. It says when a monster it points to is destroyed Zephyr Graveyard, you can add any card from your graveyard to your hand, I believe. Interesting. And then he went to sink. The level 8. It's yeah. a negator. It's a, it's so alternate strategy after getting hit with Ash. Yeah, he couldn't put his two negates, so he's putting one negate right now. Poor old Savage. Unfortunately, we're, we're getting hit by Glare Force right there. Yeah, that's a bad glare. Yeah, we did our best to try. I was actually the guy that was trying to help um, Richie move the tables around and, and get rid of some of the glare. But, I mean, you know, Yugi decks are very high rarity. And To be fair, it looks like Tyler has a good chance of winning now just because Germany has the one negate. Oh, uh, we can't see. It was a uh, Rota because he added um, a race. I just want to make sure they have the mats lined up so we can see that back row from, from Tyler. It's a little too late right there. He drove, so now he can't add any cards from the deck anymore. So That's when I saw him down. It will. He, he can't activate engage. He can't right. search for Suzuku. Um, he literally would, the only thing he'd add is if he goes Hayate dump and then add it with Gagari. <laughs> so like he's gonna probably go straight to Hayate right here. So you can add from graveyard, yes. He's right. a, that's probably what he's checking right now. So he's gonna Hayate dump. At this point, engage Water, is kinda what dead. What is life total for you? Okay. Four. So right now Hayate is sending engage would be kinda of dead, so he might go if he's like worried about the negator and stuff like that, he would probably add afterburners. Just, right. Just to like or Widow Anchor just to like stop his opponent from plussing off because he still has scales, which is scary. His opponent still has scales. Yeah. Uh, and he still has the uh, Oaf Dragon to add a free wisdom mm -hmm. eye back to hand. 
So it's uh, not good on uh, against uh, Tyler right now. Yeah, I'm actually starting, like, starting like getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh now like, with the structure deck and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay, it's an easy way back in, just trying to get my head. So back, yeah, back it looks like uh, he sent the afterburners. Is he gonna use Kagari to add the afterburners? I can't see. But it looks like a shiny right there. So it looks like it's afterburners. Yeah. Yeah, he added afterburners. Mm -hmm. That's correct. No, the the red card. So he he activated afterburners targeting. So he negated with the the savage. Yeah. And then activate upstart. really hard to see what Tyler is playing though because it's it's like covering all of Jeremy's field and then like three fourths of Tyler's field so it's kind of hard right if we remove the camera to the left you could actually see all his back row yeah we can't see uh, Tyler's back row really so he well. sets one passes because Suzuki is dead right now <laughs> Richie went over to see if he can fix the the mat guys uh, he should be coming back here soon that way you can get your uh, your Yugi commentator back. In case you're wondering about the link currently, that's the link right now that he has on board. I see. Sephra. I had him move it up a little bit. You're fine. Yeah, you're it's better. Sure. It's better. So Zephra Metaltron. If the monster discard points to that was special summon from the extra deck is destroyed by battle upon his card effect. Have a monster from your graveyard or face up pendulum monster from the extra deck to your hand. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a once per turn though, so you have three attached to it and all three are destroyed. You don't you only get the uh, at one time. Gotcha. But it's once per turn though. So if you're able to like save two of them mm -hmm. and the next turn lose it, yeah. you get to draw add them from the graveyard anytime. So you get literally add like the troll or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's that's insane. The fact that it's any monster is the dumbest part. <laughs> You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you guys, you guys can have Richie back. The the quality uh, commentary. I mean, I, I was assisted here. So otherwise, I would have been sitting here just like, just saying stuff and things. But I'm gonna give you guys Richie back. Thanks for having me. Have fun. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, Marcus helped us out greatly, big time. So did our, our head judge here, John. I had to finish eating and go use the restroom. But I am back, ready to go. I'm charged up. Got a Food in my stomach, bathroom's been done, we're, we're good to go, I'm here to stay. And let's see what I missed. So we got Jeremy Mitchell on the right playing Pendulum Magicians and uh, Tyler Jetlika. Jetlika? I hope I said that right, Tyler. Please don't be Jetica. mad at me. Jetic? No, it's an L. There's L, but it might be silent. I don't know. <laughs> uh, playing Sky Striker. Um, Sky Striker, I know very, very well. I've been playing that since it essentially came out. Um, it looks like he's got one back row set. I'm trying to figure out what I've missed here. It's not much. <laughs> Jeremy has game unless he has like there can only be one set or something like that because the Widow Anchor doesn't do anything. He doesn't have miss spells. Yeah, he's not, yeah, Widow Anchor wouldn't do anything because he can't take. He needs to take the monster, not just negate. He wants to take it. Yeah, um, upstart, uh, afterburners, and oh, it's a shared ride. Rota. Okay, I mean that's still OTK basically, but sure. Yeah, Jeremy can just push for game here. What turn is this? Jeremy's second turn. So Jeremy's second turn. Okay. Yeah, Jeremy went first. So it was like Tyler maybe didn't open so well. No, he's got. Gold. His, he, Tyler got drolled. Oh, he got drolled? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, all he has is a ray and a what in hand? A ray and something else. All right, chat, let me see what I missed here. Turbo card, no spell, three spells in game. It's game, game, uh, game. Corona, I beat Pemmages today at local by playing Dark Light after he pen summoned. Oh, wow, okay. Black fan, half attack. Okay, Boro just negates the ray, effect GG. Yeah, it looks like you guys are, are, are on point here. You can kind of see everything that's, that's happening at the, at the moment. Yeah, I think Jeremy here can, can essentially push per game, even though Tyler has played shared ride here. Um, you know, he's just going to not really worry too much about it and just start pushing uh, forward. Yeah, Tyler excuse me. Yeah, he just, there, there's a, that's, that's a Savage Dragon, Borlo Savage Dragon. Yeah. Yep. Like, even if he summons Kaina and stops one of the attacks, the other four are coming in. Yep. Great streams, guys. See you in Orlando. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Lock You Down. I really appreciate it. I uh, can't wait to see you in Orlando. I'll definitely be there. Come come to the table and say hi. Jeremy's one of the most respected players in the game, though. Uh, Je yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy's uh, won a YCS. Um, you know, he, he's at YCS Atlanta. He's also won a, an ARG event, hasn't he, as well? He might have. I don't keep I believe he has.
no offense to Tyler, I'm sure he's a decent guy. No, it's, it's uh, no no big deal, Adam. It's, you know, I don't think that what you said was uh, offensive to him in any way, shape, or form. But uh, Tyler here's got uh, three set back rows. Ash, the pendulum call, and his game. No Ray, Link, Rip, star, striker player. Yeah, he's not opening all too great. I mean, the, uh, the uh, game prior, he could have, uh, from what I'm being told, he was opening fine, but, you know, he, he gets drolled, gets stopped. And now this time, all he really does is set three back row and passes. So unless he, he, uh, he's he he's got one of the side, uh, sideboard cards that he put in there to try to stop this matchup, it, it just all really depends what he has. How can you brick or strike striker? Um... It happens. It's rare, but it happens. It also depends on your deck build, you know. <clears throat> but it does happen. It's just, it's just not that common. Like you need to see Ray. There's only four, or five Rays technically. Yeah. Well, there's, there's. You gotta see Ray, and there's different ways to get to Ray also. Like if, if you, if you don't open up any Ray, you don't open up a, a Road or anything like that. But you open up Multi Roll and Area Zero, you can get to Ray. Yeah, that's two cards. You still gotta search. And some, if you open up the Area Zero, but without a way to pop it, it's still, it's not a Ray technically. Yeah. You can try search for array with the area zero by getting lucky. Yeah, it just all really depends, <clears throat> but it does happen. <clears throat> for pendulum, uh, pendulum's kaijus are usually best with Denko as a close second. Pendulum also can break. Yeah, pendulum can also definitely break. How can you? Uh, so how did the? So did the play, paleo player win? No, the paleo player unfortunately lost to Juani, so that's why Juani's at table one. So the pa paleo player is now X one. And we got here a uh, pot of desires being played. We're gonna banish ten. Oh, what do you guys call it? Neg nine. <laughs> no. Um, I'm not sure what Hani's playing. I can try to find out. Let me see what I got. You know what Hani's playing? I mean, we can just walk up right there and find out. Can you find out for me? That'd be like amazing. Or ask somebody. We're gonna we're gonna find out for you guys. Uh, since you guys are asking, we'll find out. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think you're right. Uh, uh, who who just said that? Where is it? Uh, second, uh, Hambino. That's the second stage record that we see. that doesn't open up Ray on stream today. It just so happens. It just so happens to be on the blue side. Um, and it looks like Juani's playing Thunder Dragons. Jeremy's hand is pretty interesting, and um, I want to I, I want to put it out there that Jeremy has extra help. Look at his player cam; he's got the judge and and also his his buddy in the background, all on, on frame, giving him giving him the power to to get through this. <laughs> Any interesting decks at top tables? Not that I've seen. Um, at this at the round that we're in now, you're starting to see the, the meta shape up. You got your Thunder Dragons. You have Sky Striker up there. Um, we had Salomon Great earlier, but it looks like they have fallen to uh, a little lower. They're not super low, but it's it's you know it's not as high as it used to be. I think he's table number six or seven. The Salomon Great player, the one that has the Danger Engine specifically, um, and everything else is pretty traditional. I have not seen any uh, Alter guys. I, I've been missing it. I've been looking, and I haven't noticed it. Yeah, he definitely has his back against the wall here. He's, 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 he's not looking that good. Unless he has a strike set. That would be lit. Oh, oh. So, we don't know what it was, but it, he, he just got rid of it. I didn't even see what it was when he flipped it. Yeah, Tyler's using his own uh, mat here. and it's uh, <coughs> He's keeping stuff off screen. I, I tried adjusting it earlier. It's, it's a little difficult, so I do apologize about that, guys. But that's why we have these zone mats on there. I think he, he it, it must have been impermanence or something. He just flipped it and put it away. Guru Control. We actually had Guru Control on stream earlier. Unfortunately, they did not do so well. And I don't, I'm looking over to my left right now, and I don't see him in the top tables, the Guru Control player we saw earlier. So I'm not sure how he's, how, how, how he's doing. Knowing Tyler, I don't think it was impertinent only because he would put them in the pendulum scales to set him to negate the pendulum yeah. scale effects too. So I don't think it was impertinent. So he now makes a uh, Boro Sword Dragon. Oh god. You know what to yeah. And there goes Bo is a Boro Savage Dragon. OTK? I think this should be OTK. 
I think this is game right here. Oh, that's game. There we go. I don't know what he was waiting. Oh, it's a, a storm duster. Um, and that's game. That's an OTK there. Savage Dragon with a mix of Boro uh, Sword Dragon. And, um, man, Jeremy with the Swift 2-0 on Sky Striker over Tyler uh, Jetlicka.